that's the case. So what I would like to suggest is that council will allocate enough money for one bus, $182,000, contingent on the province cocking up the money for three more buses to fix our problem this year. So if someone's willing to second it, I'd like to put it on the floor. You know, I, I would second that again because of the contingency of the province being involved in it. Now, I don't know if they wrap around, but I would second it to be on the floor. Thank you, Councilor. Mr. Standing member, it's contingent upon the province buying three buses this year. Contingent on, yeah, I, I would I would like to see that, that our money, we, we allocate the money and make a contingent on the province coming up with with three buses, which would be somewhere in the neighborhood, according to our reports, of $550,000. So again, this is, ultimately I think there's an argument to say that the province should cover it all, but ultimately we have to realize that this problem is a problem in our city right now that can't can't wait for politics to sort it out a few years down the road. Thanks. Thank you for that. Do we have some speakers on the amendment for Council Price? Thank you. I know uh, part of our job is to spend months on the budget and to come up with something to bring forward to get public input on. The other part of our job is to get the public input on it so that we make the decision that's right for the community. So I understand frustration because we have spent months on this, but we also put it out for the public so that we do get the input so we can make the changes. This isn't a budget for us to come and say, this is the way it is. This is a budget that we set forward to residents of Regina saying, is this okay with you? Is there any changes that you need made? So I just wanted to say that. My question being, have we had um, conversation with the province lately about paratransit and their lack of parity or lack of stepping up to the line to assist us? Sue Magic? Mr. Mayor, you may want to comment on this as well, but um, I can recall uh, correspondence between the Mayor and uh, the Minister uh, within the year, I would think, uh, asking that the, the uh, cost differential be repaired. Uh, and I think the response that we got, Mr. Mayor, was they're getting MOG, uh, use it for, for the expenditures. Uh, paraphrasing, but uh, it was, it was certainly, there was certainly no indication that there was any appetite to uh, correct the situation. That, that was essentially the, the return letter from the uh, from Minister. That's correct. Sorry, I can't get, can't get used to these microphones still. Um, so, us putting a motion forward like this, um, will it put more pressure on the provincial government, or will they just say, we'll just use the law for it? That's what's there for. Or, I guess that's a rhetorical question, because neither of you will be able to answer that. So, I'll, I'll put that out there. Um, so, please make me want to comment on this. Sure. Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, it probably doesn't go directly to the question, but I, I, I suppose the other element that you need to be thinking about is that um, uh, to, to meet the intent of the, uh, of, of the motion, uh, there'll be a co capital cost, so one, one time cost of some size towards um, rolling stock. I have a quick chat with uh, Mr. Bells. It's probably to, to operationalize four buses, uh, add four buses to the fleet probably about a $400,000 a year uh, operating expense. So keep that in mind in terms of what we need to do with the budget uh, tonight. So one bus at 180000 does that include operating it for the year as well, or would we have to look at that um, dollar amount too? And if so, how would that affect our budget? Dear God, they're all screen over 120000 uh, Initially, our budget asked, so my question still is, how would that affect our budget tonight? I'll minimize the question. Um, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase and ask the question directly of Mr. Bells. Um, if it's $100,000 per bus, um, the motion would be that one of those buses would be the responsibility of the city. So we have $100,000 in one-time capital. Um, so the question to Mr. Bells is, what's the operating cost if you add four buses to the fleet? If I understood you, you said it was $400,000 a year. Is that is that the number that we should be using for the answer? Mr. Bells? Uh, three. 
Thank you, Mr. Worship. Uh, again, um, the request was for three buses is 400000 in operating uh, cash that we need per year. So if you're asking for a fourth bus, I guess we've got to do the math of what exactly the operating would be. So it was $400,000 uh, required for operating for a three bus capital investment. So if you're asking for four buses, someone's got to do the math here again. Okay, my point being that this would be a lot more money than 180000 So we really need to consider that in, in uh, whether we choose to go forward with this. Now, that being said, it's not like the province is going to cough up three buses just because we say so. so one of those things. Thank you. Uh, other speakers on the amendment? So let's not try. Thank you, Worship. I wouldn't like any more than, than doing that. I mean, that's, that's a, a great issue, but I think we've, we've discussed that. Uh, even talking to the, um, uh, the refusal rates and how are being recorded and all that. Um, the question would be, What's going to happen? Well, there's a question: What's going to happen to uh, to this 4.8 if we add anything? If we add one or add four, um, motion, the motion is to add one bus. Just one bus. Contingent upon the province um, supplying three buses. So this is one AD that's involving with that, that's a Euro capital uh, bus and then the op operation of it. Correct? Is, is that? Well, is that correct? The capital cost is is what? Uh, each pair of transit bus, uh, uh, Mr. Worship, is $100,000. Again, if we don't have the buses, the operating uh, uh, budget was not required until the buses arrive, which would be late fall or early 2015. What? So then, uh, <laughs> what, are we, what are we receiving for 2014? Uh, I think they, they were talking about six uh, buses that we bring on, new buses that are replacing some older buses. Is that something, something happening for 2014? Thank you, Mr. Worship. Uh, currently, right now, we have 30 pair kinds of buses that we're on a five year rotation. So uh, we get six buses every year just to replace our stock. So 2014, again, we will have six buses arrive to replace uh, the six older buses, and they'll arrive in fall 2014. So if you look at for us getting an extra bus, we're not going to see it until, until later in 14 or even for the 15. Is that what I'm hearing? For you, Mr. Worship, yes, we would have to uh, add to our current tender and get an additional bus on for 2014 that order. Uh, hopefully that can happen. If not, it'll be a little bit later in that process. But again, uh, through the motion, uh, it sounds like we would have to have four buses order, uh, but we'll have to see if we can get that with the vendor at the same time. Okay. Um, just, I mean, I'd like to see that because, I mean, it's, uh, our refusal rate is up. Um, um, even the new buses that, we, that we're receiving, is that going to improve some of the services that we, we're delivering to the ocean? Are these two six buses are going to improve our service as we see it now? Is it going to change anything? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, again, these six buses that are coming in 2014 are just replacement buses. They're just turning over our stock of the old ones. Uh, the motion on the floor would add service uh, to the fleet. Okay. No, no more questions. Thank you. Thank you, Your Worship. I don't think there's one counselor in this room, not one, as opposed to the Senate behind this motion. I think we all realize that, uh, that the service being provided by paratransit could be better and probably should be better. The question is, how do we go about improving this? And I don't think the way to make yards here is by poking sticks in the eyes of the province. And I don't think that the way to negotiate with the province is to negotiate through our budget deliberations. And I don't think the way to catch the province's attention is to make a contingent offer like this. I think that what should happen is 
that the city should continue to talk to the province seriously about paratransit and the funding of the paratransit uh, system, which after all, after all, this is primarily a provincial responsibility. So while I agree with the sentiment that we should be doing more for paratransit in general, and while I think we are making progress, I think that this motion is likely to set us back. It's just likely to annoy people. It's likely to get us into a slinging match, a public slinging match with the province. I just don't think it's going to do any good. And because this is an issue that's too important to play politics with, I think we should approach it the right way. And the right way is for us to engage, for the administration to engage in the province and see if a solution can't be worked out. I don't think for two seconds that us passing this motion is going to produce four new buses uh, uh, next year. And for that reason, I don't think this is the right method to go about it. Indeed, I think it'll set this debate behind. I'm going to vote against the motion. Some clarification on the timing. This motion was to pass. We're not buying six buses, we're buying one. Contingent upon the province buying more for this year. So, given that the tender's already gone out, I assume for the, for the, uh, for the uh, paratransit buses we're buying this year, when we, could we expect to see the delivery of this new bus? you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I don't have that information at this time. There's sometimes you can uh, uh, talk to the vendor because they haven't started the process of building the six buses. Sometimes you can add an additional bus to it, but at this time I don't have that information. Something to, to think about. Uh, another question to the administration. Uh, we have uh, right now um, with the purchase of the 15 low-platform buses, we will have all of our buses um, low-platform. All the old buses will be, will be off uh, the street will have new ones. Is that correct? Through you, Mr. Mayor, yes. Uh, uh, there's 15 new conventional uh, transit buses coming within the next month that will get our entire conventional transit as 100% low floor accessible. And having achieved the, uh, the goal of having uh, a dedicated uh, portion of the railway to be de dedicated to that, is it 0.65% for transit? 0.63%. I'm just wondering if you, if you think about this, that uh, if, if it appears that, you know, it sounds like it may be that, that the delivery of the paratransit bus would be later in the year, that we look at 2015 using the 0.63 to begin to purchase some paratransit buses over and above our, our usual allotment, and we would talk to the province about joining us to do that. I'm just throwing it out there for a discussion. Is the timing of receiving this bus today, maybe the end of the year case. We can make a decision on this fall on the 2015 budget and allocate what was going to the large buses could be possibly be allocated to the small buses, to the paratransit buses. But I would say that the letters we received from the province, the communication was that, frankly, you have your uh, municipal operating grant, that's your, that's your out to do this. They, they don't, they recognize that it's the program, they recognize that it's they have to not funding it, um, but that's that's throughout. So this might be um, a hollow gesture because they may say, well, you know, we're not doing it anyway. Yeah, we've got a record to, to purchase one. The other way to look at it is that we could use that 0.63% to actually purchase one. Something to think about in 2015. <coughs> Other speakers on the amendment. The concentration is going to want to close today, so let's keep one side of the mind. Anybody else? Concentration and debate? Close debate. Okay, just a point of clarification. I, it was my impression that four is the number for four, uh, for, for 725,000, but it's, if it's only three, I can adjust that. 
to, to say that we would purchase one contingent on products to exceed. I appreciate it might be a hollow gesture. I also appreciate that uh, sometimes these things take a long time, and I think this is today's problem. It's not, uh, you know, uh, a year from now or two years from now. I think uh, it'll be intended. I appreciate Councillor Hawkins to your, your comments of uh, poking the province. I, I don't, uh, we shouldn't take that lightly. I, I do think this is an important issue, and I think it needs to be dealt with uh, ASAP, and I think we're offering actually the opportunity to the province to, uh, to kind of be a, a part of the solution. So, um, I, am I allowed to tweak the amendment if, if it's off from from what the facts say from Mr. Gulls? Are you, are you changing the um, intent of the product? No, not the intent, just the number. It, if I just have maybe clarity from Mr. Gulls first, what, what uh, the grand total is and how many classes that represents. Mr. Gulls? Yes, through you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, initially, our, our proposal that we put into the budget process for this year was for uh, a capital investment of three buses uh, for 300000 with the matching operating budget of 400000 to run those three buses. So given that we're just talking about the operating budget right now, might I be able to tweak my amendment to represent the operating expense? This motion to represent the operating expense. Yeah, you have to capital expense that you want for the operating expense for Well, I'm sorry, right now we're talking about uh, the capital of the purchase. For the operating, actually. Yeah. So if I could keep the spirit of the amendment the same, but just at this point, like to just have it represent the operating expense for one bus contingent on the promise uh, supplying two other buses. That's a, no, that's, you want just the operating portion of it? Suppose this just passes, then when we get to the capital budget, I'll make a motion. Just to clarify, so you're saying that you want $400,000 in the operating budget for one bus operating? But that would include the two other that hopefully the province will kick in for? You can't just put one, it's the contingent on the other two. You still need to have the operating funds for the other two if they do show up. Sure. Um, my expectation would be that the, the province would uh, contribute the operating expense for two as well. Yeah. Which, um, again, and if it can happen this year, we would have other we'll examples. Take your, we'll take your amendment. Yeah. Uh, tried to capture here is that the city allocate 182,000 for one new paratransit bus contingent on the government of Saskatchewan purchasing two paratransit buses at a cost to the province of $384,000. So right now, what I would like to put forward is, is the motion for, for the expense of operating one bus contingent on the province providing operating for two buses. And then it, should this pass when we get to the capital budget, I'll make a motion to finance the capital side of one bus contingent on the province providing the capital side of two buses. So I think the operating expense of one bus would be about $135,000 there. Those. I'm not sure if we have to, I guess I would have to include that, uh, that number. I think 135 would would fit the initial ask here. So we're looking to just the operating versus the capital. Supposing this passes, I'll make a motion for the capital expense when we get to the capital budget, which is next. For one bus. For one bus. I'm to clarify on the, we've already spoken on the so. Here's a clarification. My question is simply, can you budget a contingency like this? How do you budget a contingency like this? You're right in line. It's a budget. Pretty easily. Like, you have to put it in the budget. Uh, I think you have to go to the budget today unless you have something else to say. It would just be in the budget. Um, Mr. Mayor, I, I can see only two ways to do it. Uh, one would be just as you stated, which would be a $135,000 lift on the operating budget side. Um, the option, I suppose, would be for you to, um, once once there's an actual purchase to be made, uh, you can make a decision to make the purchase out of the um, Reserve, I suppose, but but that's just to provide an option. And the best way to proceed would be 
I'm sorry, the, the posting of the chapel site. Yeah, so the operators would be in existence as a one option. Yeah. So we clear this is an operating project. <coughs> it's one bus, one operation. And if this passes, we do the capital side on the capital budget. Any other clarifications on the question? Do you understand what this is? I'm going to call one of us all those in favor. Opposed. That's the key. Yes, Your Worship. The item before you will remain unchanged for, no, for decision number one, which reads that the 2014 general operating budget detailed in the attached 214 general operating budget document be approved. Number two will also remain 